Hello all, welcome to part 14 of mobile testing training series. In this session, I am going to explain about splash screen. Okay, so this splash screen is generally used as a terminology. Okay, while explaining or while uh, documenting details in the test cases or whatever it is, we use this terminology known as splash screen in mobile app testing. So what exactly is splash screen guys? So we have to understand. So what is this splash screen then? When you launch a mobile application in any of the mobile devices, that application may take some time to launch in your mobile device. Okay. So during that process of launching, okay, if the application doesn't show anything, it looks weird. And uh, if the application is taking too much of time also, and uh, if, if, you, if you're not seeing anything on the screen, you will get a feeling that the application is not good. So to overcome that problem, what these companies which are developing these mobile applications will do is till that application is launched completely, they are going to show as a screen, a startup screen, okay, known as splash screen, okay. They are going to show as a splash screen, guys. For example, here in this image, you can see when you are launching the Facebook app, if the Facebook application is taking time to uh, display the functionality of the mobile application, Facebook mobile application on the screen before that, uh, your profile icon and uh, that uh, status and comments are displayed, images and everything are displayed in that Facebook app. If the application is taking some time to load the data and all those stuff before launching it completely, during that while from launching to uh, starting up, okay, completely, uh, this startup screen known as splash screen, okay, this is called a start, uh, splash screen, guys, okay. You see, there is an advantage of this uh, splash screen being displayed, guys. One is branding, okay, instead of giving a blank screen here. Uh, till the time the application launches. So if if the app application uh, brand is actually being shown on the screen till the application is launched, it gives a proper gesture like, a, okay, branding will be improved. And at the same time, uh, the waiting time, the people will wait, okay, by looking the loading options, uh, some movement will be there here and, you know, people will get enough patience to wait for the application to launch completely. Okay. So that's the advantage of the splash screen guys. And as a terminology, you have, you have to know what exactly this splash screen. Okay. While performing the mobile app testing. As I mentioned, when you launch a Facebook app open on your mobile, before you see any Facebook functionality in the app. Okay. Uh, you will see this kind of splash screen. Okay. Displayed for a short span of time till the, this actual mobile application launches with the functionality, Facebook functionality, etc. Okay. We, uh, the splash screen will be displayed for uh, more time when you launch the same Facebook app for the first time in your mobile device. Okay. When you are launching the Facebook app for the first time, it will take a lot of time. Okay. And next time onwards, uh, the splash screen will be very in short period of time. It will be displayed or not. Sometimes uh, you will feel that immediately the application is opened. Okay. So you have to kill the application, which is running in the background and launch it again. You will, you will be able to see the splash screen for a period of a short period of time. Okay. You can also call this splash screen as a launch screen or startup screen okay it's a launch screen or startup some people will terminology uh, if they are good with terminology they call it a splash screen or some people they simply say la launch screen or startup screen okay whatever that is either sp uh, splash screen launch screen or startup screen everything is same guys okay the below are the two uh, different reasons for uh, mobile apps for displaying a splash screen why the mobile applications are displaying this pla splash screen one is instead of keeping it blank if you show the branding okay branding will improve Okay, branding will happen. Branding showcase will happen for that app. And second thing is, till the actual application completes processing and loads. Okay, the application when launched, okay, after a while, uh, will take some time to uh, complete the processing and load. So till that time, we cannot show a blank screen, right? Rather, uh, we'll show the this kind of splash screen with the branding info, where branding will showcase. Branding showcase will happen at the same time. The uh, the people who are using that application will wait for the application to load completely process and load completely that is the purpose of the splash screen guys so hope guys you understood what exactly is splash screen in mobile app testing so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to cover another topic on mobile testing till then see you bye bye